Hey, Amanda, we're live here on East Lake Avenue in Guilford, one of over 50 streets that's at least partially blocked and finally being tended to by Eversource crews. We say finally because folks here in Guilford think Eversource's response was just too slow. There were nearly 200 storm-related incidents called in here in Guilford. I was hopeful yesterday that they would have a make safe crew working throughout the night with us. Uh, we didn't see somebody for about 18 hours after the storm came and went. So why such a slow response from Eversource? The sheer number of damage that, uh, that our system experienced from yesterday's storm is the short answer. Eversource says system-wide there were roughly 700 power outages at the peak yesterday. Some 100,000 have been restored as of late this morning. We're talking about entire trees, multiple trees coming down across a road, making it only or almost impossible to get near. Before town public works crews can clear the roads, Eversource needs to de-energize power lines, which started happening in Guilford early this afternoon, but some surrounding communities say they've not seen Eversource yet. I'm hearing calls from seniors, from people who have young children who are just very upset about the fact that they don't have any sort of ETA whatsoever. Uh, when their powers can be restored. Eversource says they first need to finish their assessment of the situation before they can offer an estimate as to when power will be restored. We lived through Irene, we lived through Sandy. In both those instances, we had ETAs. We have not seen any sort of ETA whatsoever here. The first responders on the ground are telling me that this is the worst it's ever been. Guilford's assistant fire chief believes Eversource should be held to a higher standard. Another public, public utility uh, like Southern Connecticut Gas Company, uh, I think they're mandated by the state that an emergency happens that they're going to be on scene within 10 to 15 minutes. Now, Eversource emphasizes that they need to prioritize emergency 911 calls that they receive in order of importance. And they apologize for what's perceived to be a slow response time. But the town of Guilford and others who didn't have an opportunity to interview today say, well, oh, wait a minute, this is an emergency. Scenes like this here on East Lake Avenue. What happens when our emergency responders can't get through? We're live here in Guilford, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.